G'day everyone, this is Rob from 99 Ways Crypto. Welcome back to the channel. Now the video you're about to watch, I filmed about a month ago. And at the time of filming that video, we were well below peg. Now over the last month, we've made some significant ground of gaining peg back. Now the content that you're about to view and the strategies that I give out at the very end of this video, I want you to know are still very much relevant for maintaining peg. So not only these strategies in this video about restoring PEG can also be used to maintain PEG. So the same behaviors that restore PEG are the same behaviors that we need to maintain PEG. Once we get there, as you can see here, we're 10069. So stay tuned to the end of the video for those strategies. And remember, this, these strategies can be used for both main, maintaining peg and restoring peg. All right, let's get into it. So let's paint the picture of where we are today. So the market's pretty much crashed. In today's video, we're gonna talk about peg recovery or peg restoration for the EMP protocol. Big question is, what can you do to help bring back peg? This video is gonna have a few tips for you which will help the protocol restore peg. The chances are we're heading into a global recession so for most people, there's probably going to be hard economic times ahead. Most likely you're looking at your current portfolio and it's been cut in half. Well, you're not the only one and you're pretty much hurting like me. There's a few things you should keep in mind that will help ease some of the anxiety of a bear market. Firstly, the only time you really lose is the moment when you liquidate your position. If you look back at history and you'll see the crypto market has rebounded after a bear market which it will most likely do again. Now, even if you've got great TA skills, you can't time the market. Yes, some of those indicators will put you in a better position, but the reality is you can't actually time the bottom. So don't sell it off out of fear. Number two, I would recommend keeping your emotions in check. By keeping your emotions out of the equation, you'll be able to put yourself in a better position. And those who can will be able to accumulate in a bear market and make some really good profits in the years to come. Remember, bear markets are where fortunes are made. Number three, you need to have a mindset of holding on for the long term and get ready to accumulate as much as you can afford to play with whilst the market is down. And look, I know there's a lot of fear in the market right now, but this is the time. How many times have you really looked at the history of a chart and gone, gee, I wish I had picked up some ETH or some BTC at, when it was at this price? If only, if only, if only. Well, the good news is this is one of those times. Another way to, to curb your emotions during times like this is to focus on your current token accumulation or emission rates. And don't look at the dollar value. And let me tell you, this change in mindset is totally liberating and will truly remove a lot of stress for you. So for, for example, when you see your portfolio trimmed in half, all sorts of emotions will arise. But if you focus on the token holdings, they never go down unless you sell. So keep stacking or DCAing or compounding. And then when ETH or the market recovers, you will see your true value of your holdings. Now, you've got to think about EMP grew really fast, really quickly, and a lot of people came in uh, on the back of the hype. And when that happens, you usually see people exit really fast. As quick as they come in, they go out as just as quick. So especially those um, who don't understand how a scenerage protocol actually works. So as soon as the boardroom stops printing, they up and leave and they sell off their positions and this means they sell off their A-share and they sell off their EMP. And the flow-on effect of that is that suddenly we've got excess amounts of EMP floating around on the market from all of those who dumped their tokens. So in other words, we have an oversupply right now of EMP and the boardroom ain't gonna print until we get that under control. Or in other words, the excess EMP needs to be consumed in order for us to get back to a healthy position. We've got to mop it up. So one of the things that happens is when there's excess amounts of EMP 
in the open market, the boardroom itself will turn off because it's healthy for the protocol. The inbuilt mechanism is there to ensure the system doesn't overinflate the supply of EMP and damage the overall economy of the protocol. So what we need to do is we need to focus on using EMP the right way, especially if you've got EMP emissions coming out of, the, out of your nodes. So the best thing to do there is to pair up your emissions from your nodes with ETH, fresh ETH, and then put that back into the farms or the detonator as LP. This will help you grow your position and help the protocol. So focus on growing your farms and focus on growing your LP by compounding or, or DCAing into the detonator. None of this is financial advice, by the way. This is just my opinion. This is just what I'm doing. I'm just a Joe Blow on YouTube. So take my word for a grain of salt, but here's a few tips anyway to recover PEG, but definitely not financial advice. Okay, so now let's talk about the pros and cons and the things that you can do to help bring back PEG. Let's have a quick look at some of the do's and don'ts in terms of PEG restoration. Starting with the do's, sell eShare for EMP. By farming eShares and selling them for fresh EMP, that is by far the best thing that you can do for this protocol. The next best thing to do is once you've purchased fresh EMP, is to pair it with ETH for LP. As I said earlier, it's all about how we use our EMP tokens that is so important. When the market's down, this is the best time to actually start to focus on growing your farms. Remember, the farms are the key to the indefinite money loop. The next thing you might want to look at is using the magic auto vaults or any of the auto vaults that are being provided by the EMP team. Not is it only a good idea to create liquidity pools for entry into the farms, but also into the detonator. Another positive thing that you can do for the protocol is to purchase e-bonds. Now let's move on to the don'ts. Now the worst thing you can do for yourself and for the protocol is to dump EMP. So don't sell your EMP tokens as this is liquidating your own ownership of the protocol. The dumping of EMP tokens is what drives down PEG. Another don't is don't be a bad actor within the protocol. The next thing you want to watch out for is going too heavy in the boardroom. It's super important to keep well balanced across the EMP protocol. By being too heavily weighted in the boardroom, you'll create an imbalance within your investment and therefore you'll end up producing way more EMP tokens than you can manage. If you want to learn more about balance strategies within EMP, then check out my video on EMP balance strategy. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below. The next thing I want to talk about is a common mistake that's made, and that is to buy eShares instead of farming them. Directly buying eShares does not have an impact on PEG. It's worth noting that eShares are a pretty volatile asset and are subject to price fluctuation, so it's fairly risky uh, to buy them directly. Another action that will hurt PEG is irresponsibly taking profit. At the end of the day, we're all here to make money, so it's recommended that you obviously do take some profit but do it through eShare, don't sell off your EMP token because that's what will hurt the actual protocol. Now, if you want to see the boardroom continue to print and maintain PEG, then the last thing you really want to do is do not split your LP and sell it off because you will be totally liquidating your position. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, like subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the content that we have constantly coming out anyway thank you very much for watching it's greatly appreciated i will catch you in the next one rob out